So we've got something on the display. There's no real data there, just random pixels. Now I said I'd say something about multiplexing, and the way to check whether this thing is multiplexing is to shake it. So if I shake it like that, you'll notice that this power LED is on solidly and creates a line. These LEDs are actually being switched on and off at 450 hertz. That's the built-in uh, multiplexing timer inside the chip. And you can see that they create dots and dashes. Now, what about sending real data to this display? Well, if we take a look at this display, this is um, one of these Nokia 5110 liquid crystal displays, you'll see that in the pin list, we've got a chip enable, a data in and a clock, but also this DC, which is data command. If this is uh, in one state, either high or low, I can't quite remember which way it is, you'll be sending commands. And if it's in the other state, you'll be sending data. But this device here doesn't have a DC pin. In fact, it only has three lines. It's a three wire serial interface, strobe, clock, and DIO. So to send data, we need to do it according to a protocol. Now the TM1638 datasheet has these complex sequences of commands and data, and it takes a while to really understand what this means. But essentially it boils down to something really, really simple. If you take the strobe low and send a byte of data, it's a command. If you then take the strobe high and low again and send another byte, it's another command. However, if you take the strobe low and send a command and then leave it low, every subsequent byte is interpreted as data. And it's really that simple. So in my Arduino sketch, I take the strobe line low I send out one byte of data, which I know will be interpreted as a command. I'm now sending out another byte of data, and I know from the protocol that that will be interpreted as data. Now, if I set that to FF, I stand the best chance of turning on as many segments as I can, and then I simply take strobe high again. Let's compile that and see if it works. And on the display, we've got an eight with the decimal point on, in the first location. I've still got all this rubbish here from before, but now watch what happens if I press the reset button on the Arduino. This LED up here lights up. Let's press it again. I've got another eight with a dot on the display. Press it again. Another LED lights up. And in fact, if I keep pressing this, I can light up more and more of these digits on the display and more and more of these discrete LEDs up the top. And the reason this works is because I'm constantly sending that command and a single byte of data, which is hexadecimal FF, and the chip is using auto address increment. So it's moving through all the addresses on the display. Now it seems to be doing the digits and then the discrete LEDs alternately. And that is one of the quirks of the addressing system of this display. But there, look, I've turned on every single LED. And I've done it with the simplest of Arduino code. Take the strobe low, shift out two bytes of data serially, take the strobe high. That's all there is to it. So how many bytes of data can I send following a command? Well, here it says uh, data one to N, transmit display data to command three address and behind address up to 14 bytes. Well, I don't believe that. I'm going to send 32,768 data bytes. So in the Arduino sketch, I'm shifting out one byte of data. This is the uh, 8F that turns the display on. And then I've created a for loop. Um, I've compromised slightly. I'm not doing 32768. I seem to remember integers only go up to 32767. So I'm spewing out 32767 uh, bytes serially. Now I've actually put I, which is the counter, as the data going out. So it'll be different every time it goes out. A tiny little delay, and then eventually taking the strobe low. Let's see what that does. And the result is this. 
So although the datasheet says that you can only send out 14 bytes of data following the command, no, that's nonsense. You can send as many as you want. And I'm sending out, well, 32,000 bytes of data following the command. While all this data is being sent out, the strobe line, this line down here, is being held low the whole time. I sent a single command and 32,767 bytes of data.